So hi everyone, welcome back to another video and I am a self-confessed podcast addict. It's true and what's better is there are so many freaking amazing podcasts out there that I want to talk to you about and hopefully these will change your life a little bit. So I listen to podcasts when I'm on the tube, I'm pressed up against somebody and I don't have any room to take my book out. That genuinely happens every single day on the Victoria Line. But on a serious note, I like to listen to podcasts when I'm feeling a little bit more contemplative, when I want to be inspired, when I want to learn something. And that is probably about a few days a week. So if I'm not feeling like reading a book at that time, I will just put a podcast on and I'm taken away to this whole other world. It's not like listening to music where I feel like my own thoughts are in my head and Sometimes I feel music makes that worse if I'm just really kind of in my head a little bit and I need to not be. I put on a podcast. It makes me think about something else. And podcasts are really good for those days when you're not feeling quite yourself, when you want to be transported to something else. And I want to tell you guys about my top five favorite podcast recommendations. So my number one favorite podcast at the minute slash all time is Emma Gannon's brilliant Control-Alt-Delete podcast. So you may have already listened to one of her podcast episodes. She's incredible and Emma is just personally a woman who I just find so inspiring and so lovely and so brilliant and creative. So basically what the Control-Alt-Delete podcast is all about, it is Emma talking to really inspiring people who have made their living and just became the boss of their own making via social media. And that's exactly what I want to listen to when I'm feeling in a bit of a creative slump, when I'm just not feeling myself. So Emma's podcast is really inspiring and always has incredible guests on. So she's had Zoella, Tanya Burr on there, which both of those episodes were really, really interesting because they're YouTubers. And in terms of like my personal enjoyment, I always love listening to the stories of how other YouTubers got started. But she's also had people like Dorno Porter on there, Elizabeth Gilbert, like these are people top of their game and the wonderful thing is it's just a celebration of creativity and Emma is just the perfect interviewee, she's the perfect host, she asks really really intelligent thoughtful questions to these brilliant people and it's just a brilliant conversation between two brilliant women and it's just badass in so many ways and I love it. I would 100% you check it out because it will make you feel so inspired and creative. My second favourite podcast has to be the Pan Dolly podcast. So this is a podcast featuring Pandora Sykes and Dolly Alderton who work for the Sunday Times magazine and I am really really obsessed with the both of them because they have such brilliant rapport on the podcast and they talk about all things from style, fashion, celebrity, pop culture, everything really and what is really Really, really great it's just their banter is just brilliant they are hilarious they really kind of have this dry sense of humor which it just really works what I really like about these episodes as well is they're very bite-sized they're like 20 to 30 minutes which is perfect for one way of your commute and there's a new episode every single week so there's always something to look forward to and I just love these ladies they are fantastic and so funny and they just talk about really amazing topics that really make you think so i would recommend that one if you're into something bite-sized and you just want to hear great banter and really thoughtful conversation but also humor as well so i'd recommend that one my third recommendation is something completely different but it is rupaul's what's the tea podcast with michelle visage so if you don't know this about me i am the biggest rupaul's drag race fan ever RuPaul's one of my all-time favourite people and icons and the What's The Tea podcast is so bloody hilarious and brilliant. It is like an extension of Drag Race, so they have like the drag queens from Drag Race on there, they have celebrities, they have musicians on there, they even had like Gigi Hadid on there which was a brilliant episode. And what I love about them is they're so wise and they're so in tune with themselves and they give great advice 
and they talk about a lot of things so creativity to being yourself to sexuality to like individuality and it's just so inspiring but also hilarious and there's genuinely been times like walking down the street where I've been listening to this and burst out laughing and everyone turns around to look at me but I'm just like you know what you're missing out on this you're not in on this I would 100% recommend this if you just want something just great in your life because it's perfect. So my fourth favourite recommendation is a bit of a departure from the other three again and it is the BBC History Extra podcast. So you may be thinking that's boring but no like if you're a history nerd like me and it is something I want to kind of like talk about a bit more on this channel like how obsessed with history I am and this podcast in particular is brilliant. So they usually have like two different themes to talk about per podcast and they have a historian or an author coming on the show and they talk about their latest book or the latest topic that they're researching. The recent ones they've had on the BBC History Extra podcast is Paul Dark and Historical TV Drama, Essential, The Great Fire of London, The 1920s, Jacobite and the Ancient World, so like very two different things there, Britain's Second World War and The Country House. And what I love about it is it's so educational but enjoyable, so you're taking in all this information and what I think is great about podcasts in particular is you're getting something out of that in a time when you wouldn't really be doing anything else, like commuting or on a train journey or like walking down the street, especially walking down the street because you can't read a book really unless you're listening on an audio device when you're walking down the street, but you're learning something from podcasts. So I would wholeheartedly recommend BBC History Extra if you're wanting to know more about history, you're wanting to educate yourself, they're brilliant and I would 100% recommend. And my final recommendation is the TED Talks podcast. So you may be familiar with the TED Talks like on YouTube. So basically what they are is they usually have like an expert talking about a topic. So these are incredibly like broad ranging and you know there's ones on like social media to um, how to write a bestseller to how to like do all sorts of things. And what I really like about the TED Talks podcast is it's basically you've got a different range of topics coming up each week. And I don't listen to all of them, I kind of pick and choose. So I think the ones I've been interested in recently are the TED Talks, Why You Should Talk to Strangers, Bring On The Female Superheroes, and really randomly, How To Grow A Forest In Your Backyard. So again, TED Talks are quite educational and really, really interesting and will capture your interest. So guys, that was my top five podcast recommendations. Do let me know if you have any recommendations down in the comments. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video, which will be very soon. Bye guys.